what's up guys? Let's get this 1.6 up on the end stand and tear into it and see what kind of shape it's in. First thing I want to do is crank this over by hand and at least get a, a vague reading of what the compression was. Uh, this was said to be a running motor with about 150,000 miles on it, pulled out of a wreck. Just by cranking it by hand, I get roughly the same compression on each cylinder to indicate whether or not I need to pull out the pistons and check the rings out. Not a good sign. So, number one and four aren't looking very healthy. But number two and three look pretty good. So, when we get the head off, we'll look at the valves first. And since the compression didn't come up with oil in the cylinder, I'm gonna suspect there's a burnt valve or something. Maybe a nick or a defect. We'll check that out before we decide to pull the pistons out. But, it's a good starting point. Get a baseline idea on the compression. Let's get it degreased and tore, tore down now. space cleared off let's go ahead and pull it down and see what's on the inside all right so the only thing I found that seemed like it could be a major issue and it's just on this one valve that's poked out. There seems to be a pretty good bit of play. I'm wondering if that valve guy had the shot, and if it is, you know what's to say, any of these other ones wouldn't be. Valves are gonna come out next, gonna get to check that out, uh, take some measurements, and compare that to what clearances it should have, and see if it needs some valve guides. I've never been into one of these motors before. Block cleaned up fairly well, even before I started sanding on this. Felt pretty gritty down in the cylinder, so these pistons will probably end up coming out, and at the very least, getting a uh, light hone and re-ring. We'll check the uh, dimensions on the pistons and the bore and see if it's uh, out of round or you know what we need to do from there. There's a chunk taken out of the front of the cam. The indexing pin still is held in place so it doesn't look good but it's also not going to affect the way it gets timed. Bunch of varnish. A valve cover gasket was glued on. That was hard to get off. So we'll pull the head down next time and see what's in there. Y'all like, subscribe, and we'll see you for that on the next one.